family how are you spring flower here and welcome to the amazing the connection how are you guys hi guys i am so happy that you are here with me and i'm here the last time you saw me i was opening up this little girl and i was sharing her this is peppa i haven't changed her name yet i was thinking of naming her autumn what you guys think about that autumn autumn's a pretty name right well, so far, what I did with Little Miss Autumn, a.k.a. Pepper, a.k.a. Autumn, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Let's see. Autumn? You look like Autumn or you look like Winter? What you look like? I might name her Winter. I don't know, guys. But right now, she's still Pepper. But anyway, guys, I, I fixed her for my liking. Her hair was kind of smooshed when I first got her. Like, her she had an indentation up the top. Everything's all filled out. Her hair's all nice and full now. As you can see, she's all nice and full because I stuffed her hair with some um, with some polyfill and she's got a nice round face. I really didn't do too much to her body. I took a little bit of stuffing out of her body because she was a little overstuffed. I tried to loosen up her arms a little bit because they were kind of stiff, but I got this one loosened just a little bit, not much. But her hair can turn if I really like take my time and turn it. It can turn a bit i don't want to do her too well because i don't want to pull it off but um yeah so she's a nice little size right now guys i want to dress her so i want to bring her along with me bring you guys along with me while i dress this sweet baby and just have a little chat um just a chat of um a stand firm continue to stand firm type of chat guys i've had these chats before with you my dolly friends especially new people that are here on my channel i am a doll collector that collects all babies. I collect all types of dolls. I collect authentic weebles. I collect expensive silicone dolls. I collect very inexpensive dolls as well. I collect knockoffs. I collect replicas. I collect baby dolls that, that you can find at any doll, any um toy store. I have an array of all types of dolls that's in my collection. I have vintage dolls here, all kinds of dolls. And the reason why I'm bringing up all the dolls that I have, because I am a true, true, true dolly lover. Hold on a minute, guys. So, yeah, right guys, back. as I was saying, I am a true dolly lover. And I just want to let anybody that comes to my channel know that. I see that I have many new subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome to the amazing Adore Connection welcome come on here bring whatever doll you got and let's play right so um today i want to change pepper into a new outfit she's just in her butt naked right now so i just have this diaper to, that i'm gonna put on her i'm gonna put these cute little shoes on her as well she's going to wear these sweet knee high socks they have a bow they're so cute and she's also going to wear um this cute little outfit that i got on sale at one of my local toy stores i mean not toy stores sorry um cl baby clothing store boutiques called classic kids i got a lot of my baby clothes from there um yeah and she had a spectacular sale a spectacular sale everything in there was like for a dollar ten dollars five dollars and she also had like you can stuff a bag so she gave you a bag to fill up with whatever could fit in it for forty dollars and it was great and i and this was in one of the things that was in the big so i really got great sales this outfit used to cost 28 dollars, guys and it's a beautiful knit it's a beautiful knitted outfit so i'm really hoping that it's gonna fit little miss peppa peppa venta i'm gonna say peppa venta guys peppa venta really good i think i like that i think i like the flow of peppa venta also up here i have little miss isla she's another little baby that i got from amazon and then also i have little miss zarina cake and she is one of my artist made those but yeah guys so i'm gonna make room right now because it's all about pepper today it's all about pepper winter today i want to dress her put on her new outfit so i'm gonna move these girls out of the way sit my hair baby Sit her in the chair. And Cupcake, can you still stay? Maybe Cupcake could still stay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna dress Pippa today. Um, and yeah, let's get her dressed. So I'm just gonna bring the camera up a bit so it could be more focused on her so you can see her. Anybody that's like interested in getting this baby, like I said, I did get her from Amazon. But um, hopefully you guys could see her in every beam. Let me just like tilt the camera down a bit. Yeah, so um 
All I would do is try to, but you can see it, you can see it. So anyway, I'll bring her up and everything once she's all fully dressed and stuff like that, right guys? So, all right, so as I'm dressing her, I just wanted to have a little chat because I see some things going on, guys. I see some silliness continuing to go on. And like I said before in many videos ago that this foolishness about knockoffs and copy dolls and all of that's just going to continue to go on because there's some people out here that are complete advocates for all of that and they feel like the oh this is too small for you baby that one's too small i'm gonna get a bigger pamper guys that's too small for her that one's too small for you baby that's not gonna fit yeah a little bit of a fatty you need a bigger pamper you're smiling huh <laughs> you knew it wasn't gonna fit in it you said mama that's too small that's not gonna fit me is this a little bigger let's try this one this one seems like it's a little bit bigger these are the strawberry diapers let's try strawberry diaper baby See if that one fits bad on. Say, Mama, no, you knew. No, you knew, Mama. That was not going to fit me. <laughs> all right, let me just adjust the camera, guys. Sorry for all the... Excuse me, those. Okay. Just adjust the camera so you can see her. Because it's about her today. It's about her. But, yeah, as I was saying, guys, right, it's a lot... Um, I see a lot going on. Is a new dolly friend in the community that I haven't. She's she's been here for a little while, but not that long. Um. Oh my goodness, baby, you're fat and everything is kind of tight. But let's see if we could get this one. <laughs> she's fat, guys. Yeah, I'm fat, mama. I'm fat, mama. I'm fat, mama. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I was watching one of my dolly friends, saw the reborn dolls, and you know this is going on on Facebook um where <clears throat> somebody decided they're gonna make a post i don't know where for where i will put her um information up on my channel she's a really nice channel she's got really cute sweet dolls she just wants to enjoy her dolls and have fun in the community like most of us want to do and of course there's always somebody that's trying to to rain on our parade some way somehow you know now so far i haven't seen this bought into um so yeah like i was saying so far i haven't seen this on youtube yet but i have seen it up on facebook because you know the doll community is everywhere right it's not only on youtube it's also on instagram and facebook you know wherever people could post their stuff on social media it's also on tiktok as well the doll community and unfortunately we still got people here that are trying so hard to just ruin other people's fun try to tell people what they can and can't buy try to tell people who they should be around who they should associate with who they should what you know all that kind of foolishness right it's still going on right so my dolly friend southern reborn those i believe that's the name of her channel please forgive me friend if that's not your name but i believe it is i'm gonna i'm gonna put the her link in the description box to her channel and this is her channel page right here up on the screen but yeah i'm good i um she made a video that you know in one of the doll groups on on um you um facebook was trying to say that she's a scammer and all of this stuff trying to make up about her doll and you know that she has knockoffs and all that dumb stuff guys just all that you know that stuff that i was dealing with years ago and many of us were you know and you know none of us we just don't want to take that no more so this is mainly for newcomers that's her new people that's coming to the, to my channel and sees this video please do not let any of these people on her make you feel some type of way make you feel nervous make you feel scared make you feel any type of way about whatever dolls that you have in your collection please do not do that right i'm just reiterating please don't ever do that you know you just whatever dolls you can afford whatever dolls you want to buy that's your business that's your money if those are up on a public platform for you to buy such as aliexpress and um wish.com and amazon where i get a lot of my baby dolls from my little quick dolls i call them my little quick fixes ebay wherever don't let anybody make you nervous about your dolls okay guys that's that's what i'm saying this is a fun hobby it's meant to be fun you know this even sounds redundant at this point because you know i had these conversations so many times and it's so crazy that in 2023 we're still got to deal with this because these people still insist on um screenshotting people's um pages and stuff and putting it in scammer groups and and um and doing things like screenshotting people's Facebook. Like they, they screenshotted my girl Marisol and told me she's a scammer and she's a this and she's a that. 
and all types of stuff. You know, just trying to start trouble. People that we don't even know, you know, that don't know us. And I guess they feel they're protecting some sort of great cause or something. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But I'm just saying to my, my to all my new daddy friends and people that come into this hobby because and, and share the hobby on YouTube because they just want to share their dolls and stuff. I just want you, again, just to reiterate to you that there are people here that just truly want to play with dolls you know there are people here that just truly want to play with dolls guys right and truly just want to share pretty dolls and just have a good time with dolls so you don't have to put too much energy into what the quote-unquote naysayers are trying to say i see every now and then my name still comes up on some of them's channels and in some of them's comments i you know you, you you can't help but see things because if you're in the community you're gonna hear about things and you're gonna see things and half the time it's like well 99.9% .9 of the time i don't know who's saying what unless somebody tells me and shares me and i will sometimes may or may not go and take a look and just see and it, I, it's laughable to me now guys i it's a laughing matter to me because i think it's so silly and it's so stupid i always thought that it was silly and stupid and I've always been a person about is your doors your way. It's been my tagline from the minute, from the time I got into this community. And um, it's going to stay my tagline. Okay. So, and I, and, it, and I have nothing out against people that only want to collect um, authentic, quote unquote, uh, authentic reborn doors. That's your business. That is your prerogative. But as for me and for anybody else that wants to, we are collecting whatever doors we want to collect. And that's just that, you know? That's just that, guys. We just get collect by me. Well, don't she look so cute already, you guys? Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right, let me do her hair, guys. Let me do her hair. Let me do her hair. She looks so cute already. Okay, so I have these um, burrs. I got these in the sale as well. Of course, I'm going to go with these pinkish ones that have, like, little flowers on them. I could go with the off-white, but I'm definitely a person of, you know, I need to mix mix um patterns she has a little cute polka dot shirt on and and she already has her hair in these two little cute little um little pigtail birds and i'm just gonna continue the trend i'm just gonna take what she has on already off and replace it with this oh she is pretty she's so pretty she is. And guys, you know what's crazy? I mean, okay, this baby is by, um, is it Laura Lee Eagles or Natalie Blake? I believe it's Laura Lee Eagles. I'll double check again. I never remember now. So I have to double check again. The sculpt is, is done by a professional artist. That kid, let me tell you like something. This is what people need to understand. Nobody can never take that away. Nobody can never take who created this door away. This is not a figment of nobody's imagination. This comes, this baby comes from a door art. Like the sculpt of this door is from a door artist and it's her work. Like nobody could, no matter where you're getting it from to me. You know what I mean? Everybody knows like this is her work. This is her sculpt. You know, big up props to, big props to the create the designers, you know? Big props to the designers, guys, period. You know, but when it comes down to buying dolls and certain dolls being on markets and all of that what these people that try to advocate for doll artists need to understand is that what they need to understand is that it's not it's not my problem your problem anybody else's problem that these dolls are making it to the open market you understand what i'm saying guys that's what they need to understand look how cute Oh my goodness. Okay, let me stand her up to the wall so you can see her little outfit. Stand up, baby. They want to see her outfit, girl. Yes, you look so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's make your hair stand up. There you go. <laughs> she is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let me pull this back a little bit so you can see her little outfit. Gosh, I got to see it. Look how dope she looks. Ain't that pretty baby? He's that pretty precious girl. Look like she's about to take her first steps. Yes, yeah, she's a walker, guys. She can walk. She can stand. She's a big girl now. I look at my baby as about 12 months, and she's an early walker. And she's on her feet, and she's pulling stuff apart, and she's getting into things with her pretty little self. Yes, yeah, she is. She's getting into these of her pretty, precious little self. She's so adorable. I love her so, so much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, let me back it up. Yes, 
yeah so basically basically guys basically you know where everyone is at with all of this nowadays is that you know we just want we just want to play and it's just really really sickening that people are still out here trying to screenshot and all of that i won't be surprised if they see this video and screenshot this and call me a thief and because i've been through all of that guys guys i got drake like for those of you that may not know for those of you that may not know right before i came into this community i'm gonna keep this all the way 100 right before i came into this community before i started making videos and all of that and when i first came here i saw a lot of people leave this community they left the community they they cried they they got bullied all types of weird stuff like people people are afraid to make videos people are afraid to share their dolls all types of nonsense like that there like all types of feelings just like that was going on at one point a couple years ago and then i did get attacked because me too i opened up a medi i got a medi doll sent to me by a dolly medi um and you know all how to put it in a in a simple way all how broke loose all how broke loose in the doll community and everybody carried on some type of way i got called all types of names they my screen and my videos and all that got screenshotted and my picture got screenshot and sent around and i was labeled a doll thief and a supporter of thieves and a, all types of stuff right i was labeled all kinds of things and it went all around the community guys all over instagram it went all over facebook it went all over youtube it went all over the place it was it was pretty wild and it was, it was, it was enough. And not only me, anybody that was making, it was a few of my friends that were making like, anybody made any type of comments on my channel. Um, most of you know this story already, but I'm just talking to the people that are new. Um, um, they did it to a few of my dolly friends too, but it was a group of us and it was, I, I was me and another group of people that decided we're not letting anyone bully us, right? They tried really, really hard. Doll artists came in on it, but Bonnie Brown stepped in. Ping Lao stepped in, pushing the, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Yes, yes, get at them type of vibe, you know, type of thing, you know. Um, and, you know, I just decided I'm going to stand firm. Like, you guys will not, like, you, I said, I'm not like everybody else, right? I'm not running skirt. I'm not deleting my channel. I'm not doing any of that. Did they upset me? Yes, they did, because I couldn't understand it at first. Because it was like, what the hell? This is my doll hobby. Why are people carrying on so bad about playing with dolls, right? So anyway, but I've come to learn throughout time now that, um, you know, it, it was a group of people that was on this train and they felt that they ran this community and they could say and do whatever they want to people, you know, and it was like that. But I was a person that you weren't doing that to me. Like that wasn't going to happen. And I made a, a number of videos. One of them, I had to just shut it right down. And I deleted that video since which now because I don't like to keep a lot of nonsense up on my channel. But I had to shut it down and let people know where to get off. I am not the one. I am not the one. Like, right? So this the thing, guys, right? When people's trying to get at you, I'm saying all that stuff to say and bringing it up to say to let people know you're not the one. You don't even have to go backwards and forth with nobody. You could block delete, okay? And don't worry about what this is a small, minute part of your life. And it's a small, minute group of people that are carrying on this type of way. Nobody doesn't know what's in your pockets. Nobody knows what you can afford and what you can't afford. And contrary to what some people say, anybody could be in this door hobby. A door hobby is for anybody, okay? So if you can shop from Amazon and you want to share your doors that you bought from Amazon, then that's what it is, right, guys? I feel so, it feels so stupid to me to have to have this conversation again. But after what I've seen over the weekend, it's like, oh my gosh, these people are just not stopping. I, I did say I would never talk about this stuff again, but I'm just bringing it up again because it is new people that come into this hobby every single day. And some of them have, uh, are completely oblivious to this side of the reborn com the this side of the reborn community that is just nasty it's just a it's a nasty side right in this community i have to admit though over the years it has calmed down quite a bit and it could be because don't i'm not the one like i don't care like i don't care what anybody has to say i really honestly don't i don't care what nobody has to say about my doors and my door collection my door room is the bomb dot calm filled with every type of door up in her so i don't care what nobody says i'm a collector i collect all types of cons babies so i don't care what nobody has to say about my dolls right and about me not supporting artists like all of that is trash <coughs> all of that is trash right so i'm saying all that to say guys like look if this is the baby that you can afford and that you like and that you want that's what you get, okay? Like, period. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You're not hurting nobody. You're not 
all of that. That's uh, uh that victim stuff about uh, hurting the artists. All that ain't real. Like it's not real. It's not real. Artists are still creating those. They're still making money. They're still selling those. All that kind of stuff. It's a business. I'll take the hobby and fun and joy out of it, and then you realize it's just a business. If you make something and sell it, it's business. If your stuff is not protected or other companies come and get it, it's, a, it's all a part of business. It might sound cool, but business is cool. Business is cool. Just like how door artists came on my page and was like, oh, you know, you shouldn't advocate for for knockoff doors and came on my page. But they never came on my page and said, oh, thank you for buying so many of my doors, right? They never, nobody, none of those artists ever came to any pages that I know of and said thank you to the community for, for, for putting me on, for making me popular. For, for for sharing my sculpts, for, for painting my sculpts and sharing what my sculpts can look like, for helping me to sell, to sell my sculpts. Nobody never done that. I have I have several, several dolls in her, right? That are authentic reborn dolls I paid, that I paid thousands of dollars for. I don't have to get on that road. I'm just saying that to say, guys, right? Bringing it, just bringing it back home. I'm just having this chat because please don't let nobody disturb you. Don't let nobody disturb you. Don't let nobody disturb your collection. Don't let nobody get on your nerves. It's going to be some people out here and all they do collect is um, Amazon dolls, um, wish list dolls or whatever. Um, it's quote unquote knockoffs or replicas. Some people, that's all they have in the collection is replicas and they love their dolls. So I want you to know that your replica dolls, you can share your dolls with me. You can share your dolls. There's so many people up here that love dolls. Just find your tribe. Find your tribe, right? Do not feed into the don't feed into the shenanigans don't feed into the hype don't start feeling bad i'm saying all this say guys because at one point it got so bad people were throwing their doors away people were deleting their channels people were just deleting that instinct all of that because they were they were either getting bullied or they couldn't take it and they didn't want to be a part of the community and this is why i said i'm not a part of the community more i'm, the, I'm i am the amazing door connection that's what i am over here we have fun what the amazing door connection but as a whole i am in a door community i do communicate with door lovers and door collectors so at the end of the day i still am in a community but i'm a little bit different over here and in the sense of i wasn't allowing anybody to tell me what i can and can't do nobody no matter who it was i wasn't letting anybody say what i can and can't do what i can and can't love i have a mind of my own i'm encouraging you guys to have a mind of your own too and you don't have to come on the in internet always um explaining your dolls away oh, well, i got this doll because i don't really make a lot of money you don't have to do any of that just come and play and enjoy your babies and show your dolls that's all you have to do but and also um stand up for yourself yes if you see anybody just like ace girl over there my girl over at southern reborns you stand up for yourself. And you know my girl Marcel too. They try to drag Marcel the other day, right? Marcel, you know, she, she, no, nobody can't tell Marcel nothing, right? And nobody can't tell me nothing, you know? So I'm saying all that to say, make sure you stand up for yourself. Anybody speaking ill on your name or, um, you know, got your name in some group talking trash, like don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and speak up for yourself, you know, because that's the key. Once they know they can't, they can't drag you down to the ground. So this is the advice. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. Don't be afraid to block and delete. Don't get caught all up in the hype, right? Just don't, don't. Just don't get caught up in the hype. Um, and don't get involved in a backward and forward. Don't do that. That's one thing I didn't do. I didn't go backwards and forward with anybody. When I did finally speak up about when everybody was trying to attack me, I made one blanket video. That was it. I made one blanket video to let them know who I am. <laughs> who I am, where I'm from. You know, I'm Katrina from Bermuda. Don't play. You know, so... Yeah, I'm not the one. You know, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. So once you do all of that, people pretty much leave you alone. I have to admit, people pretty much laugh me alone. Like I said, I see my name pop up every now and then somewhere. But it doesn't even matter. It's so dumb. Like, it's all stupid. All of it is stupid. You know, all of it is really stupid. So any newcomers that's just coming on, any new people that just find my channel, you know, take a listen to what I'm saying right now and just stand firm in your collection stand firm in what you're doing and you always 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 continue to love and enjoy your doll babies this is an escapism this is escape when you come on the internet this is an escapism to come and have fun oh my goodness i'm sweating guys i'm hot um to come and have fun and enjoy and just find people and yeah and and engage in nice um and um intriguing topics intriguing conversations I'm about all of that, and that's what my channel is all about. And with that, Dolly friends, I just want to introduce you again to Peppa Vinta, who looks so cute in her outfit. I need to take some good pictures of her. She needs some pic pics. 
yes she does i love how this looks on her guys this looks so nice on her i love how it fits so i want to take some pictures of her and i want to yeah just enjoy the rest of my sunday and if that dolly family i just want to tell you i love you and remember it's your doors your way bye bye say bye pepper vinta say bye dolly family say bye bye <laughs> it's just a cute right <laughs> Ooh. Okay, no, I'll address that in another video. I'll address that in another video. All right, bye. <laughs> Stand up, wave to the sun, breathe in deep, cause the day's begun. Head high, hands open wide, look to the sky and say, Today